Yo, what's up guys? So we're here back again with another deck profile for you guys. And today we're gonna to be going over the Pika Realm deck. Uh with all the new cards from Robo Clash and stuff coming out. Then definitely I had to upgrade this deck a little bit with all the stuff that's come out. Now there are a couple of things missing and this deck definitely after rotation will be changed a little bit. But this is what I have for you guys now. So if you guys like the video or you know any got anything useful out of this, uh please leave a like, comment down below and all that good stuff. But well further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, of course, first with our Pokemon, uh, we are going to go ahead and play two line of Picarom. So, I was actually thinking about playing a three line of this, because there have been times where I have prized one of these and made it a little bit harder to get. But then again, uh, it's rare when that happens. But if you guys really want to, you can play three of these. But I, I recommend playing two, uh, just so you don't brick whenever you draw this card or something like that. But... Yeah, full blitz, of course, really, really ridiculous attack. 150, and then search your deck for 3 energy, put them to your deck. I mean, 3 energy out of your deck, put them onto your Pokemon. And then you got Tag Bolt, you know, the main GX move that you want to be able to use by around turn 2 or turn 3. Um, so basically, you do 200 damage and 170 to the bench if you got 6 energy on it. 5 if you have the stadium out, so not bad at all. Moving on, we have a two line a zero aura. Now, like I said, uh, since it's not rotation yet, I'm still playing these because, of course, you got the free retreat that you can use. The only reason um, I wouldn't play these is because of the rotation, and Lost Thunder will rotate. So um, that's the only reason that you probably don't want to play these for now because you probably want to get new used to the newer format. But this is post rotation, so this is what we got here. So we got. You know, free retreat if a Pokemon has an electric energy on it, and Plasma Fist, your opponent, spoke, I mean, this Pokemon cannot attack during the next turn, but it does a decent 160. You got Electro Powers in your deck to also help power up Pokemon, so not bad. And then you've also got Voltage GX. You're most likely never going to use this GX, but if you ever do, attach just five basic energy cards from your discard pile onto your Pokemon any way you like, so it's not bad. Alright, moving on. We are also playing a two line of Zapdos. Now these are going to be kind of your one prize attackers. Uh, I know a lot of Pokemon out there are using tag. I know a lot of decks are using a lot of tag teams. No one is really using one prize attackers anymore. But while playing this deck against other tag team decks, these de right here, these helped out a lot when getting damage out in the early game. If you ever do get these, these really help out in the early game, especially with the free retreat from Zero Aura and also switches that you play in the deck. So. Not bad at all. Next, we're playing a one line of Raichu and a Lolling Raichu GX. Now, um, when rotation comes, I think we might be taking out one zero. We might be taking out the zero or putting in these, and who knows what else? There's a Bowtone V that I haven't gotten yet. That's pretty useful, so we might be playing that as well. But uh, this thing is just really OP. Uh, if this Pokemon is on your bench, and you switch into your active. Does any more damage any opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed? Which means they have to force a switch, maybe being, um, just using switch, actually. That'd be the only way they're getting out of it. So it's really good to keep your opponent's Pokemon stuck in the active. And then you also got, of course, Lightning Ride GX. So, uh, another GX move that you're most likely not going to be using. But if you do ever use it, it does 150 damage plus 100. If this thing got two extra energy attached to it. In addition to this tax cost. So, not bad. And then, of course, we're also playing a one line of the one top of Cocoa Prism. It's a shame this thing's going to rotate, but until it does, we're still going to be playing this right here. And, of course, you got the ability. That's what we're going to be using it for. So, once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon's on your bench, you may choose two of your bench Pokemon and attach an energy. Turn your discard pile to each of them. And if you do, you have to put this card in the Lost Zone. So, not bad at all. And then we're also playing a one line of Jirachi, so you don't have to play this. I only play this because it's really good starting out if you do start out with it, so that you'll be able to search out your item cards and stuff, so you'll be able to get your GXs out really quickly. Uh, other than that, if you don't want this in your deck, just put in Bowtone V. Uh, the only reason I'm not playing ba Bowtone V is because I haven't gotten one yet, so that's why we got Jirachi in here, but Jirachi is also still a really, really decent card. And that's pretty much it for your Pokemon, so that's your Pokemon line right there. Uh, not playing that many Pokemon. Your main attackers are going to be based around Picarom, uh and Raichu, Alolan Raichu, and maybe your Zapdos. Other than that, the rest of the Pokemon you're going to be having out are supports. Now, moving on to the supporters. 
We're not playing that many of these either, and you'll see why later on. So we're playing a four line of Cynthia. This could be your main supporter. Uh, be able to shuffle your cards into your deck. Draw six more if you have a dead hand. We're also playing a three line of Professor's Research. Now, most people would probably tell me to run four of these. But uh, as fast as this deck runs, and I've tested this out a little bit, this uh, card, you don't need to run it out three. You don't need to run it out four. You could take out the draw and maybe run it out four. Or maybe take out a Zapdos and run it out four. It's really your choice. I just like running three because... Uh, there are some times when I want to shuffle my hand to my deck, and there's sometimes I, I don't want to discard my whole entire hand, especially if there's some really good cards I don't need for late game, so that's just me. And then we're also playing a one line of Guzman Hollow and a one line of Mallow and Lana. Now, Guzman Hollow is really good because this helps search for your stadium cards, so being your uh, lost your Thunder Mountain, so that's what we're going to be using for this. And most decks actually right now run three of these, and they don't even run like the Zapdos or anything like that, so... Uh, the only reason I'm running this one is because, you know, this is kind of just the way I like running my deck. I definitely would probably put another one in, but I definitely need to go on Amazon and get more. So if you really want to run three of these, uh, go ahead and just take out the Zapdos if you really don't want to run the one, the one prize attackers. Uh, the Drachi in this deck, you could probably take out for the Bouton V, of course, because Bouton V has that amazing attack where basically on the first turn, I mean, when you get an energy on it, then its first attack basically says that you can search two energy out of your deck, put them onto any Pokemon you want in any way. And it's just really good at energy acceleration for this deck, but for the time being, this is what we're running. Uh, once I get my Bound Tone V, I'll definitely show you guys an update of the deck. But yeah, that's pretty much all the items that we're running here. I mean, items. Supporters. My bad. <laughs> And moving on to the items, we are actually playing a full line of Electro Power. This card is also going to be unfortunately rotating. So we're going to have to definitely replace this with a lot of stuff. So, uh, But for now, until rotation, this is what we got for those. We're also playing a three line of Energy Switch, which is really, really helpful for switching energy on and off Pokemon that we don't need them on. We are also playing a three line of Switch, and this is what I was talking about before. Uh, really good, especially when you're going against a deck that plays Power Plant. So... Zero or can't use this ability. So until you get a stadium out, if you don't have one to replace the power plant, then you got switches to get them out of the active and do you what you need to do. And then moving over, we're also playing a three line attack call. And this is also a reason we're not playing a lot of supporters because this right here really just thins out our deck in general. So we'll be able to search out our Pika Roms, Raichu, Lulun Raichu, all that good stuff. And then we're also playing a three line of quick ball. I might even make this four. Because this is a really good card to help search out Pokemon from your deck. And this thing can search out pretty much anything. So it's just amazing. Next, we're also playing a two line of reset stamp. Always really good for late game. Especially if your opponent gets really ahead of you. Uh, just nerf their hand down to one. Now, of course, this is kind of useless against cards like, of course, the Savoli. Uh, so if you do see a Savoli, you might want to take that out before you go ahead and put it down reset stamp. But it's always really, really good to do so. Next up for some more search, we got our plane, a two line of electromagnetic radar to help search out GXs and all that good stuff. You guys know the drill. And then we're also playing a two line of great catcher. Now, uh, some people play boss's orders, and I like playing boss's orders too. But until this, I don't think this card is rotating if I'm correct too. So this card might still stay standard. I just like running this because not only does it discard some useless cards that you might have in your hand, but to top it all off, it pretty much just gusts his opponent's Pokemon out. And you don't have to use your support for the turn either, so not bad at all. And then our one ups we're playing are one tag switch, one air balloon, and one ordinary rod. Especially ordinary rod because this can help get back Pokemon and energy that get knocked out in the early parts of the game. And then moving on to our stadiums. <laughs> I almost couldn't put that in words right there. We're playing a two line of Viridian and one Thunder Mountain. No big surprise there. And then last but not least, our energy, we are playing a four line of speed energy. And this card right here is just really amazing from the new set. So uh, basically what it does is if you put, attach this Pokemon to an electric type Pokemon, you get to draw three cards. This is basically draw power right here, which is another reason we aren't running that many draw supports. Because as long as you get this, you'll be able to go through your deck really quickly. And then last but not least, we are playing a ten line of basic energy. And honestly, you could probably shrink this down to maybe 9, because you do have the speed energy, so right now we're running 14. But if you really wanted to shrink this down to maybe 13 energy or so, then you could do so. The only reason I don't, because if I want to be able to search out basic energy cards, and not my speed energy with the Pico wrong, then I want to make sure that I'll be able to have enough out 
in my deck so that we'll be able to do so. But other than that, that's pretty much the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Sorry for my stuttering. It's actually been a little bit since I've actually uh, posted a video. I've been put. I've been definitely paying attention to the events going on uh, in the last couple of days with all the riots and protests and everything. So um, I'm not gonna go into any of that on this video, obviously, but. You know, for those of you guys who are going to those of you guys are watching this video, stay safe and all that. You know, uh, thank you guys for supporting the cause and all. But, um, well, for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is going to be the Evolutionary Eevee signing out. Peace and I hope you have a good one.